SolidJS is a front-end framework that has rocketed in popularity. While we're all suffering with framework fatigue, this one stands out in particular. One of the reasons that SolidJS has become so popular in my opinion is if you're a React developer, you can feel right at home. Just like React, it has component functions that return JSX. And you can also create functions that take in properties, just like React. But once you start looking at things like state management, that's where everything changes. In React, we usually use a hook called useState to handle simple state, which holds a snapshot of the current virtual DOM and a way to update that snapshot. When you call that set, it saves a new state and the component function is then called and everything in that component is then re-rendered with the new data. This works by React looking at the VDOM and comparing it with the new VDOM that is coming in. And any changes that are there are then passed through to the actual DOM. Now, if we look at solid, it looks very familiar to use state, except from we're using something called signals. And unlike React with the use state, you can use these signals outside of your functional component. When you update the signal, the DOM updates everywhere the signal is used and only that. With this, you can create a function that only executes when the underlying signal is updated. This means you get a giant performance boost without having to do anything out of the box. Now, if you did have a side effect that should execute when a signal has been updated, you can use something called create effect. This function will only execute when the underlying signal has changed. Then one of my favorite features is the create resource. This gives you a way to data fetch. So if you need to go and pull some data from a API, you can use this create resource, which then in turn returns a signal that you can use and also some helper properties such as is loading and is error to allow you to control your UI. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, YouTube is gonna recommend a video here. Go ahead and click that, it's algorithm driven. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see a tutorial on SolidJS, let me know in the comments below.